Now is the winter of their discontent. By William Shakespeare, from Richard III, spoken by Gloucestershire. Now is the winter of our discontent. May glorious summer by the son of York. From all the clouds that lord upon our house, in the deep bosom of the ocean buried. Now our brows bound with victorious reefs, our bruised arms hung bar up for monuments, our stern alarums changed to merry meetings. Our dreadful marches to delightful measures. Grim village war have smoothed his wrinkled front. And now instead of mounting barred steeds to fight the souls of fearful adversaries, he capers nimbly in a lady's chamber <clears throat> to lotrous pleasing of a loot. But what, what I am not shaped for sportive tricks, nor made to court an animus looking glass. I, that am rudely stamped, want love, majesty, a strut before wanton, abling nymph. I, that am curtailed this fair proportion, cheated of feature, of mid dissembling nature, is formed and furnished, sent before my time into this breathing world, scarce, half scarce, half made up, and so lamely and unfashionable. That dogs bark at me as I halt by them. Why am I in this weak piping time of peace? How to delight to pass away the time, lest to spy my shadow in the sun, descent, descent of my own deformity. Therefore, since I cannot prove a lover to entertain thy fair or spoken days, I turn in to prove a villain. And hate the idle ledgers of these days. Plots have I laid, indu- inductions dangerous, by his drunken prophecies, libels, and dreams, to set my brother Clarence and the king in deadly hate, and once against the other. If King Edward is true and just, am I not, am I subtle, false, and treacherous? This, this day, should Clarence did closely be mewed up, about a prophecy which says that G of Edward, heirs of murders, shall be thy faults down to my soul here, Clarence comes.